Yeah, yeah, that's that's how this works, right? What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Creepy Crawl. Yeah, 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 more guitars. I guess I'm turning into a guitar channel, which I guess is not the, the worst thing in the planet, but uh, regardless, this is actually kind of an interesting tale, and since the guitars, and I've been doing a lot of guitar stuff, I figured, what the hell, let's document it. Uh, bumped into a guy at Savers who had a guitar, and his buddy and I started talking. He's like, oh, I find them all the time, dirt cheap. So I'm like, well, if you get anything, you know, reasonable, let me know. And he messages me the other day, saying, I have these three, how about 100 bucks? I was like, yoinks, yeah. So he came to my work today after I got off, and, and um, you know, we hung out for a minute in the pack, and I got the guitars, gave him his $100, and now we're home. So I'm just going to show them to you real quick. Again, just to document it, might as well. I have no idea what I'm going to do with these. Um, I do know I'm excited for one of them. I'm going to keep it as a player. One, it's got a really cool vintage vibe. May do something with that. And the other one might just be a parts guitar. So let me know down in the comments which one's your favorite. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. All right, so here's one that you've already seen. Uh, this is a Lion by Washburn. The neck itself is nice. Um, I took this off already. There's only two screws holding it together. And as you saw in the beginning, the wood is coming up. But it's holding. So what I might do is keep the springs on that, tie this down and get some glue in there and see if we can um, make something out of it. You know, I mean, this could become a, a wacky project down the road. Of course, we'll keep that. Maybe it's better have them this way. So this is a Harmony. Um, I'll put up on the screen where I'm going to date this. It's not like true vintage like the old um, uh, the Japanese ones. I believe these ones were made in China. But regardless, it's such a thin body. And somebody painted it. They, they had the right idea. The, the color's great. I may or may not change that knob. But these knobs, fantastic. I don't think this is factory paint. I mean, you can kind of see some some wear here from when someone was sanding the original finish off. Chances are this is probably black or something like that. And someone said, no, we need to go turquoise with this bad Larry. And I'm glad they did, because it looks great. So I'm either going to do one of two things. One, I'm either going to sand this a little bit, get some clear on it, make it look nice, and just change the electronics, because these knobs here, the volume tone, they're literally on, off. You know, you can turn it all day long, but until you hit the off button, or off all the way, it's not going to change anything. So it's like full volume, full volume, full volume, okay, off. So, of course, how can you not love the Harmony headstock? Pretty cool stuff. Now, this one does have a chip taken out of here. I don't care. It works fine. One, one of the frets, the string keeps getting caught on down here. So I'm going to have to figure that out, too. Um, clean up the, the nut a little bit. But either way, I'm pretty excited about this one. This one's going to be a fun project. This last one, I'm, I'm wicked I'm wicked excited about this one. Uh, there's really not much I have to do to it, but there's a few things I would like to do to it. Um, it's a Yamaha Pacifica, nothing crazy. They're, they're a dime a dozen. They're all over the place. But it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a budget guitar. What are these, $230 new or something like that? $220, $230? Um, it just needs a couple of things. It needs the screw and the spring for setting the intonation on the saddle maybe the pickup cover which I have plenty of I mean I can just take it off of that that lion guitar um, and a good cleaning <laughs> that's all this one needs I'm I love this one I'm keeping this one no doubt the other ones are going to be part of uh, restorations and maybe a giveaway maybe I'll sell them to further my exploration of guitars but i don't know if i want to do too much to this one i mean aside from a good cleaning there's a couple of touch-up spots which are fine and a couple of dings here and there um i like the pearl pick guard i didn't think i would but on this lake placid blue style finish looks awesome neck is in great shape i absolutely love this guitar i've wanted one of these for so long um and now i finally have one all three guitars $100, $100. So guys, which one of these three are your favorite? Uh, it's tossed up right now between this one and that one. Yeah, we still have plenty more to do here. We still got this one and we still have that one <laughs> and that and those and all kinds of other things to work on. But I don't know. 
I think I'm going to have more fun with that one. But this guitar, I think, is my favorite of them all. But let me know down in the comments. Leave me feedback. Thumbs up, thumbs down. I'll feedback to the creep. It's always positive, guys. Thank you always so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe bell button. Ring the bell. Do all the stuff. So you can tell I'm not used to saying those, right? Yeah, do all the stuffs to make the stuffs happen. And um, I guess I'm turning into a guitar channel. I guess I'm turning into a guitar channel, which is fine with me. It's fine with me. So, guys, I hope you're doing well. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.